Hey there, I'm Captain Ghost, former CEO and founder of Seahams the Legionnaires. This is the first instructional video in a series of tutorials that we're making. They're primarily for our own corporation and its new members. It's a way to speed up their learning process and fill any eventual holes they might have in their knowledge about EVE Online. But they're relevant for all newer PvP players. Uh, this first video is going to be on combat uh, scanning fundamentals. Combat scanning is really, really useful, and um, to prove this, I'm going to uh, go through three different scenarios in this uh, instructional video. The first is uh, called the guy on Chisiet Gate. Um, in this scenario, we will have a dude sitting um, sniping at a gate. This happens a lot in uh, Lothic because it's a fairly simple way of getting kills for people that are slow at aligning, and with a artillery you have a very high uh, amount of alpha damage, or the first hit, uh, to say it in another way, will have a high amount of damage, so a lot of uh, people coming in with NT1 haulers, for instance, will die immediately uh, on the first volley. So, um, this happens quite a lot, and people, they will sit there for a long time, um, making them not pay that and good attention to what's happening around them, and possibly not pressing their D-scan uh, too often. And in this case, it's really, really what we're going for. So, um, what do you need for combat scanning, first of all? Well, you need an expanded probe launcher, um, and you need combat scanner probes. Also, in this case, I'm flying a Sleipnir. I don't have any boosting rigs or anything for scanning, I just have uh, T2 medium core defense field extenders for increasing my PvP abilities. Um, in this case, I don't need that, because I know this guy sitting in a maelstrom. He could be sitting in a smaller ship, a very typical one would be a tornado. Um, but that's not a problem, because uh, we will pinpoint him down. And it's going to be really easy to get a perfect hit on him. But the first thing we need to do is, of course, undock and launch our probes. Okay, so the probes are launched, now we're going to press 10 to enter our our map. And then the shortcut for scanning is Alt-D. And here we can see our probes are spread out in a nice uh, spread formation, it's called. Um, we can't really use that to anything in this case, because we already know this. He's sitting over here at the chassis of gate. So we will click the pinpoint button, launch pinpoint formation. And then we will already here decrease uh, the range. You can either do that by marking all these dudes and, and decrease it here to 0.5, or you can just uh, yeah, you can just you know drag out here. You can just click it and then just drag the size. I can't do that because I'm using push to talk. Okay, but um, we're going to to form up the probes, and for that I'm holding Alt to show all my probes. Then I'm making them very tiny to get the best scan result. Uh, right now we're pretty pretty lucky because he's sitting 25 AUs from us. Immediately when uh, people launch combat scanner probes and they they pick them up on these scan, they know that they should be careful, but you can't see them from where he's sitting, since there's 25 AUs to the AU gate and the max scan range of um, combat scanner. Uh, sorry, these scan is um, is 14 AU. And this should get us a perfect hit on him. So let's try and now they're walking over to that area and does the scan. And here's the maelstrom, so let's walk to this guy. And um, since we have an hour live from the probes, so I'm not pulling them yet yet because if I by some stupid mistake would die in this fight, which I don't think I will. Um, then they won't show up on my kill mail. <laughs> They're fairly expensive. <laughs> so, I will already 
and turn on my tank and pre-overheat my uh, pre-overheat my point and get ready for fighting. And there he is. So we have him pointed and now we can kill him. So that's basically the first um, the first scenario here. Since he has long range weapons and he's a sniper, he won't have any chance of hitting us uh, from this distance, typically. He could be bait as well, but that's not the case. Basically, if you know where the guy is, it's really easy to scan him down very fast. And I was taking very good time on, on forming my probes. Um, since we he, he couldn't see them on B-scan and I had to explain some stuff. <laughs> so that was scenario one. Let's go on to scenario two. Okay, here in scenario 2 we are going to try and probe down in mission line. And this will happen fairly often in low sec, and that's why uh, yeah, this scenario 2 is called the mission run of first steps into low sec. He will pick up a mission from his level 4 agent that he works for, and he will send him into low sec and pay him good money, but what he doesn't know is that we will be hunting him down as well as many other people. Um, so he will be fairly inexperienced, or if he is experienced, he wouldn't take a low uh, formation. Um, but from a scanning perspective, what this means is that he could be anywhere in this solar system. So unlike our previous scenario, we are not pinpointing him from the beginning. We need to do a wide search of the entire solar system first. So we hit a 10, we launch our probes. And it's very important to remember that when we launch our probes, plus we have already found this guy on D-scan. And, and he can watch, uh, look at our probes, or he can see our probes on D-Scan pop up immediately um, if he cruises his D-Scan, but in my experience, people, they, uh, or especially new mission runners, they, many of them don't even know that the original scan exists. As you can see, this is the spread formation that we're starting out with. Uh, it's very, very wide, so we're going to try and narrow it down a little bit. There's no reason to scan this far outside of the solar system. It will be very unusual that he's getting a mission outside um, the outer rim of the solar system. So we decrease our size of our uh, comet scanners. And let's try and do a hit here. Okay. And from our hits, uh, we can see that we have three feasible um, or three possibilities. It could be this guy, it could be this guy, and it could be this guy. The reason why I say this is because we know that this guy is flying a mail from battleship, and these are the only ships that we have in the system. And his signature radius uh, will be very huge because he's in a battleship, and the maelstrom that is uh, shield tank will have an even larger um, signature radius than the original because the shield tanks uh, increase the signature radius. So, um, instead of trying to scan all these down to 100% to figure out which one is the Maelstrom, we're going to be doing a directional scan uh, towards the tree. The somewhere in here, or over in this area, by the station. The chance that he's got a mission over here is fairly unlikely. So um, we will go with the third alternative here and find the least in this side. We go down to like 60, 60 degrees, and in this direction we will get a nail strum popping up here, and one of my combat scanner probes. So let's try and pinpoint this guy. First, we will um, decrease the size of our probes. and move them 
in together. And we can actually decrease the music further than this. And let's try and see what we get over here. Oh, this is not good. We get a 19% hit on this ship. I don't know if it's because you warped away, or... There might be several reasons for this, but let's try and hit it over here. We got a better indication on where he might be. Okay, we definitely have a battleship here. And it says that it's upwards, so let's move them upwards and uh, decrease their of size of the bit. And this can be a little bit difficult, uh, since this ship is not made for scanning and it doesn't have any boosts uh, to increase what what we're getting here. But, as you can see, we uh, we found the maelstrom, so uh, let's work to it. And I will of course pre overheat my points, so I'm certain that I get that. Although it should be that difficult to to get in a <laughs> in a in a battleship you will have a hard time to line out and escaping me. In this case I might want to pull the approach. Just because then it would feel that oh if he presses me now then they're gone. I guess that's too late anyway. Um, but yeah, that was basically finding the Nelfum. The needle in the haystack, I think the ship in space. Uh, in a ship that is not made for scanning. When you're engaging uh, a ship like this, that has got like 8 cannons, um, there's no danger in engaging a mission running. You can do it in more or less any ship, even a Kai frigate could be quite funny to do it. The largest dip, uh, Difficulty is actually if you're getting addressed by the people in the mission. Uh, that can be quite annoying. Um, but the mission runner he won't point you because most mission ships they don't have a point on them. Or actually, no mission ships they have a point on them if they're made well. So yeah, at this point you will just freely engage and go on. And he won't near you, he won't web you. And in this case, even though I'm in a battle cruiser that has a hard time killing it a well-fitted um, battleship, you can just orbit him at 500, you won't have any chance of hitting it. So, that was scenario 2. Okay, there. Welcome to the third part of this tutorial. Um, damn. He worked off. Okay, we had a very interesting uh, scenario here with the, uh, Smiting uh, moron. There's a smite out here as well, but she's most likely going to be pretty well tanked. Uh, I'm not set up properly to fight another smite unfortunately, and he's quite old tank so far. I guess we should be a little bit careful at least. Romana, she's fighting the damnation, but I can show you how this works. On grid scanning is basically the Put your probes down to minimal uh, scan range and just throw them directly on where, where you're sitting. And put them in pinpoint formation and just move them very, very close together. Uh, as we did on the other videos when we were pinpointing, or in the other scenarios when we were pinpointing. And then I do a scan right on where I'm sitting. I have to be in what range, of course, of these guys. But for instance, this slide mirror over here, I can try and go for him. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die in this fight, but it doesn't really matter. It serves the purpose because I wouldn't be able to, to walk to him on this. Ah, uh, and here comes a Myrmidon. Okay, so I'm walking up to where this slide mirror was before. Let's go. And he warps off because he's scared. So I walk down to my bounce spot again, and I do a new scan. Okay. 
I can see Romana, which is, uh, she's in my feet, she's fighting, fighting the Brutus. So I'm going to warp to the Brutus now. And we can see we have a Tingle on these hands, so that's probably going to land here. I agree, so. But this could um, serve... Like, this shows the example where, for instance, if you're against another fleet and we don't have a warp in on, on them. In this case, I do have Romana, I could have warped into these. Okay. What is her poke doing there? I'll definitely be locking up that name like that. Was actually sitting a little, little bit away, so it was fine that we were walking to zero the power from all the like three kilometers. I think the damnation is going to be difficult to kill, and luckily I'm not uh, in trouble or anything. Like that. Now we're monitoring this stuff, please, so she will probably go from the other place. And I'm leaving my dome too. Okay, so as you could see... That was a, an example on... on on-grid scanning. I guess we call my probes now. But, the point is that you're just launching them directly on where you're sitting, and just have a minimal scan range, and just pinpoint directly where you're sitting. Because 0.5 EU is way more than your, uh, than your grid, anyway. So, I, I hope that was... Kind of instructional these examples. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, then just uh, leave them below. And if you have any questions, we, will, we can go through it in another video. And if you didn't like the music, as well, then I'm sorry about that. Have fun until we uh, see each other again, and please in the online.